Zero. One. Two. Three. Let's get started. A very helpful tip when converting fractions to decimals is to see how many zeros are in the 10 underneath. So with this, we've got one zero, therefore one decimal place. But one over 100, there's two zeros, so two decimal places. And one over 1,000, there's three zeros on the 1,000, therefore three decimal places. Now, a little bit of a more difficult one if you don't know your fractions decimals off by heart, is that if you divide the bottom number into the number one, and then multiply by whatever number is at the top, it will also give you your decimal. In this instance, we have one at the top, so multiplying it by one won't change the answer. So we go five into 1.0, because that's equal to one, and you'll see that the answer is 0 0.2. Whereas on the next example, you'll see three over eight, which will show you the number one on the top isn't there, it's replaced by a tree. So you divide eight into one, and then multiply your answer by three to find your decimal.